Did you know that you can animate almost anything inside of Maya? So we already know that we can select objects, press S, go to a new frame, and then we can animate this. We can rotate, scale, do whatever we want to it, and press S again. That's all normal. We can do the same thing with rigs, but if you go to the attribute editor, and let's go ahead and just turn on viewport rendering. We're casting shadows, right? That makes sense. To test to see if something can be animated other than what's in the channel box. So when we press S, it's going to key everything in our channel box here. In my attribute editor, if you right click on one of these, it could be anything like let's test tessellation attributes, right click. Hey, if it says set key, I can set a key on this. Go to render stats on frame one. I'm going to right click, set a key. Now you can't tell anything happens. I'm going to go to frame 10, uncheck cast shadows, right click, set a key. So now the sphere is not casting shadows. The trees are and everything else. But if I go to frame one, it's casting a shadow. And if I go to frame 10, it's not. Now the problem lies is I can't see these keyframes. I'm sure somebody in the comments is going to find a better way to do this, but I always just go to the graph editor. So I can search by pressing control F, type in graph. Here's the graph editor with this object selected. I now have this new channel and this is cast shadow without that this would not have been there so i have the first keyframe the second keyframe and so with this one selected i could hold shift middle mouse click and drag to change it to you know frame 13 or with this frame selected, I could say, let's do frame 25 in this box, press enter, and now you'll see I'm able to adjust my keyframes wherever I need them. So let's take this a step further. Let's grab our material. So I have the water selected, and then I have this AI standard surface. I'm gonna go to frame one, I'm gonna go to color and set a key, All right? We can right click, we can see if we have this ability, and that means, yes, we do. We can set a key, and let's go to frame 10. We are just gonna keep it the same color, so right click color, set a key. So now nothing's happening, and then let's go to frame 30 and now I'm going to change this to a reddish pinkish color and then be sure you right click set key and now my color is fading from blue to pink which is super awesome. Once again, control F, go to the graph editor, and then we have control of this object, but we actually have to select the material first. It's not located on the object. So in my hypershade, I can click the AI standard surface, and then you'll see in my graph editor, this is what's happening. So I'm gonna go to frame 30. When you left click and drag these, don't move them on the Y axis. You'll see it's gonna change hue, saturation, value, and we don't really want that. So that's why you can grab these, hold shift, left click and drag just like we did before or with those three selected pick your keyframe let's do 50 but hopefully this will open up just so many different areas for you inside of maya just click on anything right click if it says set key you can animate it